so hey guys welcome back i hope you are having a great day well i don't know how to say it but i'm sorry guys for not uploading any video in the past six months yeah sure i took a lot of time to upload this video and of course i do have my reasons and excuses ready but i guess there's no need for it so let's just move forward with project well this is my two desk project a very weird looking radio controlled car but unlike my previous RC car projects where I used a smartphone or DIY remote to control the car, this time I'm using an actual transmitter to control the car. This gives us two key advantages. First, we are getting very long range transmission and second, there are plenty of programmable control options available on the transmitter, which you can customize according to your needs. Anyways, enough talking, let's just dive into the making process. So the first thing we need for this project is the BO motor of course. Ok now let's quickly sort our wires to each motor connectors. Next we need a chassis and for that you can use this type of ready made chassis which can be found on the online store. But I am not using it for this build. Instead I am using this metal motor holders which I got from my old robot car. Ok now let's secure the motors in their places using some M3 screws. Next I'm 3D printing a base to mount these two motor holders and it turned out pretty well. Ok now let's attach both motor holders to the 3D printed base. Besides I'm also attaching the small bottom support to make the chassis more rigid. These are the nylon standoffs and here I'm using this to mount the Arduino Uno. Before attaching the wheels, we are gonna need this motor shaft couplings. Ok now let's mount them on the motor shafts. I'm using the mechanism wheels for today's project and these wheels are great for omnidirectional movement. Well of course this is the Arduino Uno, the brain of this project. Let's quickly mount it on the standoffs and fasten the screws. Next we need a motor driver and for that I am using here the L293 d motor driver shield. Simply mount the motor driver on top of the Arduino Uno, then insert the motor wires into the screw terminals and tighten the screws. For reference you can follow the circuit diagram. Here again I am using the nylon standoffs to make enough clearance between the electronics and the top plate, which I will attach later. Alright now we need this 3 pin female to female jumper wire to connect the receiver to the motor driver. Ok first cut the plastic head of the orange wire then solder it to the D0 pin of Arduino Uno. After that connect the red and brown wire to the 5 volt and GND output of the motor driver. This is the Flysky FS IS6B receiver but before connecting it to Arduino first we have to bind the receiver to the transmitter. And of course we are gonna need a transmitter for the binding process. Other than the transmitter we also need the ESC and a brushless motor to test the receiver. Also this LiPo battery to power the whole circuit. Ok now let's start the binding process. First grab the binding cable and connect it to the B slash VCC channel which is the binding channel. Next plug your ESC into channel 3. Now we can connect the battery to the ESC which will power the receiver. Now with our receiver powered on, we can set up the transmitter. Place and hold the bind switch down while turning on the transmitter. You can see the RX is binding now and it's done. Ok next open the menu and select the system setup. Then go down to the output mode and make sure your output mode is set like this. After completing the setup, restart your transmitter. Then unplug the binding cable and restart the receiver. Alright now we can test our receiver. Uh, as you can see the motor is spinning which means the receiver is working fine. Ok then let's connect the receiver to the motor driver. Plug the other end of the jumper wire into receiver's iBus interface. Alright this is the battery holder for the 18650 batteries and with the help of some double sided tape I attached the holder to the chassis then connected its positive and negative wires to the motor driver's power input. Alright now here comes the programming part. First connect the card to your computer using the data cable then remove the signal wire from the receiver. Ok now let's open the sketch. 
all right guys this is the complete sketch but if you try to compile it there's a chance you will get this error because of the absence of these two libraries so we need to install these two libraries to fix this error first go to the library tab then search ibus vm in the search bar and install this one similarly install the af module library okay our library installation is done now let's verify the sketch once again well this time it's successfully compiled all right then let's quickly upload this sketch okay guys the code uploading is done now unplug the usb cable then connect the signal wire back to the receiver all right this is the metal plate i was talking about earlier and i'm gonna use this as a roof for this car okay next with the help of some double sided tape i attach the receiver under the top plate to prevent this antennas from getting damaged, I have 3D printed these two antenna holders. Let's mount them using some M3 screws. Then snap the antennas in their places. We need two 18650 lithium ion batteries to power up the car, which I wrapped with vinyl paper to match the color theme. Okay, now let's install the batteries. Well, finally this project is completed. Now it's time to see how all the control works. Well, the right joystick controls the forward, backward, left and right directions. The left joystick controls the rotation. But it can also be used to drive the car in corner directions. You can switch between these two modes by using the second toggle switch. The speed of this car can be adjusted through this VR knob and that's pretty much how all the control works. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for today. I hope you found this video helpful and do let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. I will try to answer all of them. Thanks for watching, stay safe and peace out.